here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today I am making a sleeve for my laptop. Now I am using a chainy cotton and so this sleeve worked up really quickly. I have kept it really simple with the closure here. It's just a drawstring that we will knot and loop through the loop and then it opens up and here is my computer. So of course, in this tutorial, I will give you all the tips and tricks you need to be able to make this so it fits your own laptop as well. Let's get started. So what do you need? Well, here I am using the Retwist Cheney Cotton Cake and it's by James C. Brett. And it's a, a recycled yarn, so it's made from recycled fibres and it's a composition of cotton and polyester, so it's really nice and strong. And they are recommending a hook size 2 to 4 millimetres, so I am using my 4 millimetre hook. And of course you will also need some scissors as well. And this is uh, 250 grams and it's a 250 meter length as well. So I'm really liking the look of this, what they're calling chainy cotton. So it's like it's already chained and it's made up of the different fibers and of course also the different colors. So it has a little bit of a gradation in there. So this is a cake that I'm keeping for another project, obviously, but I have used this one here. So I started off with this one and it's going really well. So let me show you how I started. So this is my laptop. It's a MacBook Pro and it's a 13 inch screen. And so it's a nice and slim design. And I am going to give you the measurements, obviously, for this one, but also for any other sleeve that you might want to make for your own laptop. So to get started, you're going to make a slip knot, insert your hook, and you're going to chain to the width of your device, uh, but not exactly to the width, just below, because as you know, it's going to stretch a tiny bit when we put those stitches on. So you have got to be prepared to start again, because obviously if you do um, chain to the width, it will stretch a little bit once you put those first stitches on. So I put my chain against my laptop and for my laptop, I used 41 chains. So, you know, if you have the same one, that's easy, but if not, or if you're making it for another device, like an iPad, you might have to, you know, m measure really well there. Then you're going to do one chain and this is your turning chain. Then you are going to do six single crochets in the next stitch here. So that means skipping the turning chain and into the last chain that you chained initially. You're going to put six single crochets. One. Two. And three and as you can see i picked up two strands of that chain three so four so i have one strand left there and six there so this is going to be the base and this is going to be our corner now as you could tell my computer is really slim if your computer is wider thicker then you're not going to be able to use single crochets. We are going to be putting single crochets on one side of the chain and on the other. So the width of your sleeve is going to be two cr single crochets high. And for me, for my laptop, of course that was enough. If your laptop is wider, you might need to use a half double crochet so that you have a wider base so you will have a base that's the width of two half double crochets if your computer is even bigger then you might have to use a double crochet on either side so i'm just going to show you the way i did it and for a phone for example or for an ipad this will work as well 
So then we are going to continue along our chain. Obviously, I've only done a number of chains for demonstration purposes. We are going to continue along until the last chain. This one is going to be dealt with differently, but each chain now is going to be given one single crochet. So let's now put the single crochets onto our chain. And because we have stretched this first one, of course, quite a bit, this one has, you know, gotten a little bit smaller. So make sure, yeah, I'm in. So I've got the two strands at the top, one at the base, and I'm going to do a single crochet. There we go. So now I'm going to travel all along the chain to place my single crochets. So I've traveled all along my chain and now I've got my last stitch here and this is where I'm going to be doing another six single crochets in there. So insert and do six single crochets into that same chain and of course if you're doing your other stitch for your height then you will still be doing your half double crochets or your double crochets, okay? And here we are with the sixth one. There we go. And here, the end here, sort of that almost automatically now lies along this base here. And I am just going to take that with me now. So I'm going to crochet the end in. So now we've turned. So can you see what we're doing here? So we've put the single crochets on one side of the chain. And now we've turned and we're coming back with another row of single crochets this time picking up the leftover loop and of course i'm also incorporating my tail end there so this is worth taking your time just to make sure whoops that you don't miss any stitches that they nicely correspond and that of course you have your nice six stitches here to make your turn and if you have to, you might want to twist your hook to easily get under that leftover strand of the chain there. See, that makes it a lot easier. And I pull this one just to make sure that it lies nice and straight into my stitch. And once again, it does pay to just check against your device, holding it against your device, making sure that it is the height, the width, everything that you need. And of course, if you need to, you might have to start again. It's better that it fits nice and snugly than that it's too big. So now this just doesn't want to play anymore, so I'm just going to leave it out there. And I'm going to continue all the way until, of course, I meet that last one. Yes, there we go. So one in here. And then, of course, this one is that first one that we used here. And I am just going to skip if I can just see where it is. I'm just going to use this one. So skip all this below here. And I'm just going to go into this V here and create a slip stitch. There we go. So this is the base of your sleeve done. And now we are going to get started on doing the sides. So we're going to chain one. Then we are going to start doing half double crochets. So you yarn over and into the next stitch, you're going to pick up the back loop and you're going to do a half double crochet. So yarn over. If you look at the V here, you see one at the base and one at the top there. So you pick up the back loop, the top one, and you're going to do a half double crochet. So half double crochet is yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through the three loops on your hook. 
And as you can see, I am now working in those six single crochets and I'm actually making a turn here. So I'm making the corner of, look, of my, of my sleeve. So I've done one, two, three, four, five. And then the sixth one I will do in here. There we go. And then you will just continue placing one half double crochet in each stitch in the back loop. I will meet you when you get to the end of the round. So I've made it all the way round. And here I am just doing the last few stitches. Now this is the stitch that the turning chain is coming out of. This turning chain is going to be disregarded in this project. Okay, so we are going to be placing a stitch in there. So let's do our half double crochet. Then we are disregarding this one here. Then we have to do our slip stitch, but our slip stitch will lie over the next V. So we are going to skip that one as well. And we're going to go under here. So basically you're skipping two V's and you're going under the third and you do your slip stitch. And this will ensure you have no seam. Okay, so now as you can see, it's lying open like this and it's not really sleeve-like, but the more rows you do, the you know it will close up it will come together so now from this row on you are going to keep repeating the same row so you chain one completely disregard that later on as well when you come back then you're going to start doing your half double crochets but this time you pick up the whole v and you just do a half double crochet in each stitch around And of course, now you're just going to have to do rounds until it is tall enough for your device. I will meet you when you get here. So here we do the same thing again, a half double crochet in that last stitch where that chain is coming out of, skipping this one as well. So one, two, into the third to do my slip stitch. And as you can see, now that I've done two rounds, you can clearly see that I have got sides standing up. So this is where I am at at the moment. So as you can see, it fits quite nicely, snug around my laptop. I think I have used about half of my cake here. So I think that's going well. The four is working out really well. And yeah, I'm really loving the way, let me turn it over, the way it looks. And it's just sort of the width of my laptop, which is great. So there we go. So onwards with some more rows. So I have made my sleeve just about to the height of my computer. It just comes to sort of like there so that's perfect so i have just here finished my round and i am just going to get started normally as we are used to and then the flap will be made on this side and it will go over to that side there so now we have to decide where the middle of our flap is going to be Okay, so counting this on video was impossible, so stitch markers have made an appearance. I've put this one here in the first stitch of my flap, and this one is going to be my last stitch. Then I worked my way in counting my stitches, and then it turned out that in fact this stitch here was my middle stitch. So if you don't have a middle stitch, then just designate one and then go one further along here so you have a middle stitch. So now we're going to do our half double crochets until we meet the middle stitch. Okay. 
I've made it to the middle stitch. Here I'm simply going to chain one, skip the middle stitch and continue in the next stitch with a half double crochet. So we've made a little box. And now we are going to continue to the stitch marker which we have used to indicate our last stitch. Just doing the stitch in the stitch with the stitch marker, then chain one, turn, and then you're going to do a half double crochet in the very fast stitch, and off you go again, doing your half double crochets. Now, if you're prone to losing stitches, make sure you mark this V here, as your last stitch when you come back so put a stitch marker in there so i will see you when we have reached this middle stitch again so i've just made it to that middle stitch here again where we have our chain so i'm going to do a chain i'm going to skip the chain and then i am going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch so we have created another box and you just continue working to the end of the row. So I've just made it to the end of my row here and looking at my stitch marker make sure that you do every stitch that you are supposed to do. So there's one here that I have to do and then of course the one that the stitch marker is in. There we go. So now you continue doing rows exactly the same and you make sure that your flap comes down quite a ways but of course you're limited by the amount of yarn that you have left but make sure you have some yarn left to make the drawstring. So in the meantime, I've made it to the last row of my flap for my sleeve. Now, what have I done to get here? So I kept on making the rows with the box in the middle. And as you can see, it goes like this, which I think is a nice feature. And I did this for 12 boxes. So 12 rows where I created a box in the middle. Then I stopped doing the box and I just did one to three more rows of half double crochets. Now, while I was doing these rows, just about during the first row, I think, I decided I would cut off the end of the yarn on the other end. So I wrapped it around my computer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times and then I cut it off. So I have a length of yarn to the side which I'm going to use for my drawstring. So I'm keeping this to the side and now all I'm doing is just using up what I have left. So I then continue doing my half double crochets but when I started this last row I didn't think I had enough for a half double crochet row, but there was still too much not to use it. So I'm now doing a single crochet row. So in total, for the actual flap, when we started making the boxes, we've done 12, 13, 14, 15 rows of half double crochet and then one row of single crochets. So let me just finish this and I will see you to make the drawstring. There we go. The last stitch in there. And of course, yeah, look, this is all I have left. So that's perfect. I'm going to pull that out and I will sew this in using a smaller hook, just looping it behind the stitches there.
So this is now my sleeve. Let's see if this fits. Look at that, fits nicely in there. Okay, so let's have a look at how to make the drawstring. Okay, so we're going to make a twisted drawstring. So with the help of a heavy object, I am going to double up my string like so. And I am going to loop it round my heavy object here. You could also do this round the door handle or something like that, you know. And you're going to start twisting. Uh, or you could ask someone to hold it for you, of course. So I'm going to start twisting, twisting, and I'm going to go further and further, and I'm doing more and more twists. So I'm keeping it tension, but as you can see, look, it's starting to twist in on itself. So that's how tightly I have twisted it. So what you do then is try and still keep it tensioned. Oh my goodness, have I got something else heavy I could put it on? And then double up your string. Hold it double like this. So I'm still holding it tensioned. Oh, hold it there and then let go. And it should twist onto itself. There we are, look. See? So I'm just making sure that it's nicely twisted. And so this gives us a nice string to work with. Then I'm going to take this off here. This is going to be my end that's hanging out and this is going to be the loop that's coming down. So I'm going to take the end that's going to be hanging out and using a hook or whatever you can, you're going to try and bring it through the holes. There we go. So the way I want to do this is so that this loop here, which I'm going to make a tiny bit bigger, is like this and will be lying here. So let's pull that through like so. Okay. But in order to make sure it stays there, I'm just going to go and put it back through the previous one and back out the other one, the first one. There we go. See? So this is now kind of attached, which is enough. And now we are going to bring through the string through all the other holes. So it's attached to our sleeve. And, I mean, you can do this whichever way you want. Just looping it behind your hook and bringing it through. Look there, that's the easiest way. See, there we go. And it's not going to go anywhere because we've attached this one. So let me take my computer out. That might be easier because I want to just move this about. There we go. And of course, now is also the time to start with removing your stitch markers, of course. There we go. See? So it's hanging out here and it's hanging out here. And the way we're going to be closing it is the following. So you've got it lying behind and then it comes up. And then when you have your computer in there, you can simply thread that through and make a little loop or knot or whatever you want to do to keep it closed. There we go. So now that we've tied it, in order to make sure that it does not unravel, I'm just going to make a knot about here so we know that that's enough that we need. And then here we could possibly cut this off and unravel it a little bit so we have a little bit of a tassel. You know how I love my tassels. So I have here my closure. There's a flap. 
it opens up and then here is my laptop so i'm really really loving the colors i really liked this cake and i think it's great it's a great simple design and a simple way to keep it closed as well so what you do is there is a loop here you loop the drawstring through it make a knot with a loop holding the end there so that when you come to use it all you have to do is pull the end and take out the drawstring from the loop and there we go so let's slot our laptop in close the flap find the loop bring up the drawstring put the knot of the drawstring through the loop and pull it tight then we knot but we keep one side of the drawstring on this side and we loop through the middle here and this is how we close it it stays closed and it is okay for us to slot this into our bag because there's no button that can stick anywhere and this just runs along the back of our sleeve and then when you open it up you pull the knot and you pull it through the loop and you open your sleeve there we go thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye